Hi there, my name is Alistair Hope. I'm a portfolio manager here at uh, Eon Energy. Uh, my job is to trade gas and power on behalf of customers who have a flexible contract with us. Uh, and that obviously means understanding what's going on in the, uh, in the markets. Um, and I'm here today to uh, take you through a brief update on what's been going on uh, through July. So it's been a pretty volatile month for gas and power prices. Um, at the start of July, uh, there was a number of um, Norwegian outages that seemed to uh, cause a bit of a rally in the markets. Uh, the speed at which the market moved um, was, was, was pretty quick and some analysts are attributing to this to a number of traders trying to rapidly cover short positions that had been, that had been built up over time. Um, the market rally that we saw was, was pretty short-lived uh, and prices did revert back down quite quickly and we think that's because of the, uh, the European gas storage situation. Uh, where well, there's a lot of gas in storage at the moment um, and this could essentially mean that there'll be less demand for uh, imports into the UK and Europe uh, going into Q4. Prices on the front month now seem to be back uh, level or very similar to prices uh, around about the start of June. So with gas prices being a big driver for power prices, it was no surprise to see the power prices moved in a very similar way, rallying at the start of the month. Um, what, we, what we are seeing though is a very uh, much a slower recovery um, due to a high carbon price. Um, what we also saw through July is a number of um, European nu nuclear reactors go offline um, because of the uh, heat wave that we, saw, that we experienced through July. Um, what's happening there is uh, because um, you know, some of the local rivers are used to cool these reactors, uh, environmental regulation states that if these rivers start to get too warm uh, then the nuclear reactors have to come offline until evidence cooled down. Um, the front month price has now recovered to somewhere similar that we saw um, at the start of June with some of the prices further out um, just holding a little bit more value because of the higher carbon price. So that about covers the uh, monthly update for July. Uh, I hope you found it useful uh, and we do hope that you tune in again next time. Thanks very much.